Hello, in this lecture we are going to discuss that how we would convert a two column general ledger, I mean a general ledger which is in debits and credits for format into a single column, I mean a positive and negative value single column GL. So this is going to be very easy once we understand the rules. So you can see that I have a huge amount of data. So we have something like 27,910 rows. So we need to find a smarter way to convert these values quickly. And by the way, in reality, in practice, there can be, you know, millions of rows as well. So we cannot, you know, uh, convert them one by one we have to find a smarter way now before i start you know before i start writing our logic i will first explain you that how we can convert debit and credit and where these values are supposed to be positive and negative but before i start let me remind you one more time that a debit does not mean more positive and a credit does not mean negative it depends on the type of the ledger for assets when assets increase they are debited and they increase the wealth of the company so they are positive but for obligations for the liabilities when the liabilities increase you know they are positive because uh, the, and the credit is the positive because when liabilities increase they are credited and the credit becomes a positive value so the rule for positive and negative is going to be opposite for the two sides of the balance sheet now let me explain you let me summarize that up in a single chart so you can see the summary of rules in this table here for assets the debit will be positive that will be the increase and the credit will be negative that will be the decrease for liabilities you know when liabilities increase we record them on the credit side so this is going to be positive same rule applies for equity when equity increase we record it on the credit side so credit will be converted to positive and of course in that case the debits in these both cases are going to be negative now before we start talking about income and expense let me explain you one thing income and expense are basically you know summarized and whatever is their net profit or net loss is reported in equity which means that you know uh, income will increase the equity and expense will decrease the equity now let us talk about them income when increase is recorded on the credit side so this is going to be positive and debit on the income will become negative and let us talk about expenses finally this is a little you know complex so when expense increase this increase will be recorded as negative and the reason is the increase of expense results in the you know the net impact of increase in expense is a decrease in equity so when expense increase the wealth of business decrease so this debit is going to be a negative entry and this credit expense credit is going to be a positive entry for our business now keeping these rules in mind we are going to write a formula that will convert our our general ledger debits and credits into the positive and negative value now before we start typing a function for all the assets liabilities equity income and expense that will actually you know we will have to write a separate rule for all of them uh what if if i can say that you know apply one rule for assets only and apply the other rule that is going to be that you know other rule will be you know for all of these uh, four classes i mean liability equity income and expense for all of these four classes the debit will become negative and the credit will become positive so rather than applying five rules i'm going to write two rules one for the assets and one for all of these four classes so how we can write that smartly let me take you to my chart of accounts and let me show you there so I have just opened my chart of accounts in the background here and you can see that my chart of accounts have been designed in the way that all of the initial accounts are asset asset class account and after that we have liabilities and equity and after that we have you know the PL accounts of income and expenses so you can see that the, our chart of accounts have been designed in a way that all the accounts all the assets account are being given these numbers uh, 10 20 30 up to 100 so i will say that for all the account accounts where account key is less than or equal to 100 please apply apply this rule and this rule will be debit should be positive and the credit will become negative for all the ledgers for all the accounts that become after the account number 100 after the account key 100 please apply this second rule so now with this uh, clarity that how we are going to write our dex function let us go to gl and let us start uh, writing the function okay so i am in my gl now and i will first of all say please add a new column 
and in that new column you know we since we are going to write the conditions uh, i will have to use the if uh, if if column right if if function so i will say amount equals amount will become the name of this column amount equals if and the first condition is if the account key here this account key here in the gl is less than or equal to 100 so i will start typing if the account key and please make sure this is tbl gl account key i would say if tbl gl account key here is less than or equal to 100 uh, please bring in the debit column as is with debit column as is i mean that you know these values are already defined in positives there is nothing that has been defined as negative already so i will just bring that balance again in this column as is but now you know not all the asset account or not all the assets will only have the debit entries some of them will have the credit entry as well so we have to define the credit for rule as as well so i'm going to define the credit rule in the same function and the easiest way of doing that will be to use a plus sign but you know don't worry that will not be adding two values because you can see that in all of these entries either there is a debit value or there is a, a credit value so using this uh, plus function is safe because you know uh, adding zero doesn't make any difference so i will bring in the both of these two uh, columns into one one function i mean one uh, formula so i will say now please bring the credit value as well uh, by typing here so i will just start typing the credit and this will give me the tblgl credit but now remember that for assets the debit will be positive but the credit value will appear as negative so i will multiply that with minus one so that this value can be converted to a negative value uh, after this you know we have to uh, you know uh, close this part of the formula that is result if true so i will press a comma and i will press a zero so that you know if the scenario is that account key is not less than 100 uh, please apply a simple zero for this part of the formula now you know if i press enter this formula will work fine but only for the accounts where account key is less than 100 so this formula will be incomplete but first let us add it and see if it is working at all okay so once we have done that you can see that you know uh, it has given us the results but if i scroll down uh, if i keep scrolling down you will see there are some cells which are empty so you can see that you know for these cells where account key is higher than 100 this formula has not worked at all and it has given us a zero value now let us go back and let us uh, you know start typing the rest of the function as well and to include that function as well i'm simply going to use a plus sign again because you know if the first condition is not going to be uh, is not going to meet i mean the account key is greater than 100 it is not less than 100 so in this case the answer of this formula is already zero so we can you know add the rest of the function uh, where the first function will automatically become zero and only rest of the function will, will work so i will say uh, if tbl account key tblgl account key is greater than 100 now you know now we have handled the full scenario this part is less than 100 and this part is uh, greater than 100 now i will say that please bring in the debit function but now please remember the rule for all of the other accounts that are going to come next i am in liability equity income and expense the debit is going to be negative value so i'm going to multiply that with minus one and for the credit part i'm going to say please add and i will say please bring in the credit value as well and the credit value has to be positive so we don't have to do anything else please apply a comma and uh, enter the function you know result if false so if this uh, if this is scenario is not applicable if i mean that if tbl gl account key is not less than 100 then what this formula should do i would say then simply add a zero and i will close the bracket and i'm going to press enter here and now you can see that system has uh, updated the formula here uh, updated this column and if i scroll down now you can see that even where the account key is higher than 100 we have the answers here and by the way you can see that we have the credit value that is appearing as the positive value and if i scroll down i can demonstrate you other values as well so let me find a scenario where we have okay so you can see that we have in these uh, accounts we have the account key is greater than 100 
but the amount was in debit column so we have converted that to negative and finally let me scroll up and let me demonstrate that to you in the asset account as well so all of these are you know asset accounts and okay so right now i'm not seeing any asset account where we have you know uh, okay so you can see here the, we have the account key that is 10 i mean less than uh, 100 this asset account and the credit value has been converted to negative as well but anyways we have a smarter way of checking that rather than checking it here we can directly go to our report view and check it here as well so let me add a matrix and in that matrix let me show you the total of the debits total of the credits and also finally let me show you the total of the amount so now you can see that you know first of all our debit and credit is equal and secondly you can see we have a sum in the amount column as well now how we are supposed to check this uh, of course these are these columns are not supposed to balance so what i can do is you know i can quickly apply i can quickly make a pnl here and see if the pnl values are same for this uh, logic values and this logic values so for that i will go to my chart of accounts and i will say please report the report filter here filters on this page and only bring in the values that belong to profit and loss and now after that let me make a pnl very quickly here so i will say in the rows please add class and then also you know okay now you can actually see there's a broader view of pnl so we have uh, trading account operating account non-operating and interest and tax so we are not expanding it further because that is the presentation is not our point at the moment we only want to represent that the values should be correct so you can see that in the PNL we have credit value of this one and debit of this one and if I net off these two that should become the same as this so let me open the calculator so let me check it manually for you 17894393 17894393 and we are going to direct the debit value that is 14677 14677 and the net balance is going to be 3216948 that is here 3216948 so now you can see if our data is in debit and credit eventually the credits minus debit that becomes the net profit in the PL, and that is that is also going to be 3216948 and if we have all the data in single column that is positive and negative that automatically calculates the result for us we don't have to do the manual deduction and that is going to be the same so we have quickly checked our values as well and that is it you have successfully converted your GL which was originally in debit and credit form into a single column GL now if you are facing a vice versa situation where you already have the GL in single column and for some reason you want to convert that into debit and credit, we are going to do that in the next lecture. Please keep watching.